Now, this next book, I've actually read Stargirl by, uh, let's see, who, Jerry Spinelli. I've actually read this book a couple times. Um, I read it, I think the first time I read it, I was in middle school, I think. Or maybe I was just in high school. And then I read it again just like a year or two ago. Um, and this book, it's one of the few books that really... Um, it gets kind of the social dynamic of school in high school pretty pretty down, pretty accurately. Um, it's not exact. I mean, some of the writing is a little cringy. Some of the some of the situations I'm like, that didn't that's not something that's real in high school. Um, I should know because I went to high school recently and graduated in 2017. Um, but you know, obviously not every high school is the same, so. Maybe that's a moot point. But um, the book itself, the main character, Leo Borlock, he's kind of like, he falls in love with this really like wild, like outsider girl, star girl Caraway, who's like, you know, just a free spirit, loves everybody, you know, is wild, doesn't care at all what anybody thinks of her. And the book, what the book really does is it kind of has like a, there's some sadness in this book, like, because... This girl, Star Girl, she's just completely herself. A lot of people don't like that. Leo loves that, but then when it becomes apparent that everyone kind of hates Star Girl and hates everyone associated with Star Girl, he tries to get her to, you know, conform. And I don't want to give too much more away as far as the plot is concerned, but um, it really does a good job of showing what peer pressure is regarding kids and how it works and how just shitty of a thing peer pressure really is and how suppression of your uh of 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 your expression free expression um and how conforming is really it's a horrible thing it's like a cancer and it kind of ruins people and it ruins society um the book really, it does a great job of just showing the the social situation of a lot of high schoolers and how, uh, you know, a lot, lots of times free spirits, very, you know, vocal, you know, people that express themselves creatively or just in their demeanor, they, they often get just ruined and cast out simply because other people are jealous of the fact that they are the way that they are. Um, and yeah, I mean, the book is kind of, I don't know, it's its happy, charming, and sad all at the same time. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, like I said, it's not like a perfect book, um, but it, it's its a book that I read twice. And so I would definitely recommend it, reading it at least, at least once. Um, and it's funny, like, whenever I was in high school, I mean, I was, like, wild and did crazy, highly, I mean, extremely uh, expressive things. I mean, if you just watch the the playlist on this channel, High School Fun, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, I was wild and did wild things in high school and didn't care what anybody thought. And strangely enough, other people would try to do wild and weird things. They would get made fun of for it. I didn't really get made fun of for it. I don't know why that is. I guess I just figured out how to be weird in such a way that people thought was cool. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I think the story of Stargirl um, is a more accurate depiction of what happens to most people, uh, myself excluded, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, would recommend. And I would say Stargirl, I, if I was going to give it like a letter grade, I would give it like... Um, I don't know, a, uh, probably, I would give it like a B plus. I would give Stargirl a B plus. Would highly recommend.